Okay, so let's, uh, so this can be done sitting or standing, doesn't matter. But uh, um, I think probably good sitting, you know, or hands resting on a uh, table or something like that, if you're standing. But the idea here is we want to create this sequence in, uh, and, and start to program it into the nervous system because you're always going to go back to what it is you're familiar with. And, uh, and uh, if something you've been doing for many decades, uh, you're probably gonna default to that under any kind of pressure. To be able to learn a new behavior, you gotta actually put in a little bit of work there to get uh, to make that those new neural connections. So the, uh, so just sitting with your, your hands in your left, uh, just you want to feel the index finger of your right hand, kind of point and reach with that. And, and just tune into your body and just notice that, that there is an energetic connection that, get, that occurs with that. You're, you're actually creating some energetic coherence. We've done this a thousand times. And um, you know, if you're just tuning into this on YouTube, you know, you're, you get a chance to, uh, to play with that. But the idea is you point and reach with that and you can feel a, a connection you know, all the way down to your feet and through your feet and into the floor. And then just relax that. And so it's basically you're, you're creating that awareness in your right index finger. Now do your left index finger and create that sensation. So each time you go there, each time you perform this simple exercise of pointing and reaching with your index finger, with attention to the feeling of it, you are establishing new neural connections. You're creating a groove in your consciousness that makes it easier to do, that makes it something that you can rely on. And then go back to your right hand. And relax that. And your left hand, feel that. And just notice that calming effect that has, the centering effect, the way it clears your mind to do that. Because we're, whenever we do that, when we feel into the physicality, we actually reach with intention, we shift into a, something where we're accessing more of our brain and our entire nervous system than we ordinarily do when we're just locked to a, into a thinking mode. And now if you point the index finger of your right hand and then just very gently, just reach up with your wrist. Your, arm, your elbow stays down. You can even put that against your body so that you're, it's not moving. So the shoulder's not activating. And a lot of people have trouble doing this, just reaching with the wrist or the finger without tensing up the shoulder. So we're training the body to bypass that, that shoulder impulse. So the energy can flow more freely. You point and you reach with the wrist. Very simple action and the simplicity of it uh, kind of hides its power. Let's do it with the left hand. You point with the index finger and then you reach with the wrist. And notice the action is, is this, just up, up. You're, you're reaching up with the wrist. The elbow stays down, left hand, Right hand, point, reach. And notice as you do that, there is a shift, an internal shift occurring. You're changing your energy. You're changing your body's relationship. You're changing your state of being. You're moving into a super conscious state. Just that simple action. Now, keeping your elbow down, you point 
to bend the wrist and then just very gently reach up with the wrist and bring it down. And do that again. Notice how very relaxed your whole arm is as you're doing this. There's no tension there in your arm. There's the mu muscles are, are cooperating with the with the adventure, but it's it's uh, very light. And again, you know the simplicity and the relaxed nature of this kind of belies its power. There's a lot of effective power that's being generated in this simple movement. I go to your left hand, you point and bend the wrist and then just reach up and down. Point, reach up and down. The trick of this is the conscious mind is really eager to turn all that into an algorithm and say, yeah, yeah, I got that. I got that idea, boom, and moving on. And because and it gets bored with something as stupid simple as reaching with your wrist. But the more we can actually feel into that, the more we can bypass the need for the conscious mind to be amused. We can amuse ourselves with the, the feeling and all the information that we are getting from, from that. And there's a lot of work being done in the nervous system to create this new way of being. So now we're going to we can go a little farther. So we're, so now point, reach with the wrist. Now reach with the elbow. It's a little tricky here. And uh, what are you doing? You're kind of reaching down initially, just enough to open the shoulder joint. Boom. So there's, so we're not dropping the elbow so much as reaching down with the elbow. And that creates that open there in the shoulder joint as you do that. This point, wrist, reach with the elbow. So notice that we're, there's a sequence here. It's not to say it won't work if you violate the sequence. It just works better if you do it this way. Point, reach, elbow. You do it intentionally enough times and eventually the body, body mind gets the joke and says, oh yeah, that's what we do in this situation. It knows that that, cause that feels good. And we turn, we do with the left hand, hip point, wrist, reach down to the elbow. And down. Point, wrist, reach with the elbow. So notice that you're, as you do that, you're creating this downward pull on the arm that kind of opens up the shoulder joint. So you can, oh, it's a very light, very effortless kind of thing. So just very gently alternate. Finger, wrist, reach with the elbow. Finger, wrist, reach with the elbow. Finger, wrist, reach with the elbow. You know, for me, this was you know, something that came from hundreds of hours of vigorous push hands to be able to find out how to best move, how to move most efficiently and effectively. Finger, wrist, reach with the elbow. 
So now we can we can actually go finger, wrist, reach with the elbow, and now we're going to reach some more with the wrist. The wrist comes up higher, and you find out where that sweet spot is for you. You're reaching out there, and there's a point there where, oh yeah, that feels really good. That that that's a place where you're feeling the tensegrity of the arm. The connective tissue is you kind of there's that pull. You're opening the connective tissue, but you're not, not so much that you're having to tense muscles to get there. So your finger, wrist, reach down with the elbow and uh, reach out with the wrist. So we have this, this extension there that allows the arm to get very, um, very relaxed, but also extremely powerful. This is where we, how we access the chin. And do it with the left arm. Finger, wrist, reach down with the elbow, reach with the wrist. Finger, wrist, reach down with the elbow and reach with the wrist. Finger, wrist, reach down to the elbow, reach with the wrist. So we go back and forth, uh, duh. reach. Finger, wrist, reach down with the elbow, reach with the wrist. Finger, wrist, reach down to the elbow, reach with the wrist. As you practice this, it becomes much more fluid, much more organic. You don't even have to break it down because it just, your body knows that, oh, this is the most efficient way to move. You're giving it an alternative to the way that has been passed down in the DNA, the way it's been passed down through you know, decades of life experience. So now we finger, wrist, reach down to the elbow, reach with the wrist, reach with the fingers, open. So the, I think important to, to recognize the difference here. So this time don't, just reach up with your arm and do it very slowly and just notice the effort it takes whenever everything's extended all at once and you're lifting up. Just notice how much of your own body you have to overcome to do that. And if you were to hold your arm like this for say a couple of minutes, you probably get really tired. So it's a uh, it's because your the chi is getting dammed up inside there. You're kinking the hose. And if you're still holding up there, you know, you're starting to notice like, oh, there's some fatigue setting in there. And so let's take that down. And we're going to go the other way. We're going to finger, wrist, reach down with the elbow, reach with the wrist, reach with the fingers, and notice the difference and going at it that way. So the, the, I notice it particularly in my shoulder joint, how that is able to let go of tension much more easily. It's still going to, you're still gonna to have to retrain it. You're still gonna to have to, uh, to do it a number of times to get it so that it's comfortable doing this, but getting that to so do with the left hand, finger, wrist, reach down to the elbow, reach with the wrist, reach with the fingers. Finger, wrist, reach down to the elbow. Reach with the wrist, reach with the fingers. And just alternate back and forth. Very nice and easy. Like they're floating on the breeze.
Yeah. So now you finger, wrist, elbow, reach down with the elbow, reach out with the wrist, reach with the fingers. And coming down, reach down with the elbow. So you're gonna, ah, release that first. Then the wrist and the fingers follow. Finger, wrist, reach down with the elbow, reach with the wrist, reach out with the fingers. And coming back, we're taking the elbow first. Just feeling that you're, oh, you're, it just lets that go. And then the wrist bends and the fingers follow. So we get this kind of action. The same thing if I'm going out to the side. So if I have finger, wrist, reach down to the elbow, reach with the wrist, reach with the fingers, elbow, wrist, and fingers, wrists, reach down to the elbow, reach with the wrist, open. Elbow, wrist, fingers. Now, do with your left hand. Finger, wrist, reach down to the elbow, reach with the wrist, fingers. Elbow, wrist, fingers. Notice we're getting this, ah, this kind of very, light, effortless kind of movement. It's like when water, we're, we're flowing. The irony, the paradox is that this is more powerful than this. It's, hmm, this is where we are able to access all that body energy. And this also, you're able to convert this into all kinds of movements in the same way. You're creating that, that sequential activation of joints, finger, wrist, elbow, reach, right? You're able to create all kinds of, of movements, fingers, wrist, elbow. So this then has an incredible amount of tensile strength. It's very soft, supple energy that goes through that. And so we create this, ah, we create this Taiji body that allows the energy to flow freely throughout it. 